All right, so we're gonna start work on the Ford 2000 tractor. It's awful weather here. It's been sprinkling on and off. So I have no idea what we're gonna start with here. But we're gonna get started on it. Um, you know, we'll have to get a tarp or something to turn it, cover it up, tear into it. That was easy. Making quick progress here. Um, so we'll take the front grill shell off. Uh, we need to start draining the radiator. I'll uh, get my pan that I normally use for that. That's all I use that pan for. Still got a little bit of antifreeze in it. Starting to rain. Some pliers for that. But, we don't have too many bolts that hold this thing together. Um, probably need to soak all of them there. Um, no telling when they were last off. But, uh, we're going to spray them down. Give them the best chance possible to we got a broken off can of lubricant here. We'll see if we can put that on here. So far, it's working. All right, this is a PB Blaster garage door lube. I got a whole case of it as a slick deal. Got a whole case for what one can cost at Home Depot. So I've got more than I'll ever need for garage doors. So it's basically, to me, it looks like a PB Blaster. It's just got a little more um, spray to it. Uh, it sprays far. See? Just lubricating any bolts, they're going to have to come off. I think we can leave the air cleaner in here. There's no reason to take it out. Let's undo it over here. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll just show y'all and then we're gonna do a time lapse so that this isn't a let's see so it's not like a two hour long video because the way my video has been going lately it's probably gonna be at least 30 minutes um so if you look normally you'd have bolts that bolt that um grill on or that uh not the grill the hood you'd have a bolt here and a bolt here which is busted out on here um, i think it bolts here and right here um, so we're gonna have to repair probably repair this just throw a piece of metal in there and so we can re-bolt the hood but since my hood wasn't even bolted on i just set it off 
and uh, we're gonna have to undo this bolt and this bolt this bolt and that bolt and then this whole shell should come off um, and we'll just kind of have to work this hose around the radiator as we pull it off you know if we have to we'll undo it right here and we can probably pivot it or pull it out or whatever but let's um, let me get started I'm gonna try to quickly get this done because of the rain and uh, once we get this tube off I'll probably turn it under uh, turn this hose under and then tape up the end just to make sure we don't get any water in the engine I am gonna cover this with a tarp when I'm done but because we're not gonna finish today but let's get what we can done and we'll see what we, where we can go from there So here's what we've got. Um, the bottom of this radiator has um, encapsulated bolts. So they got like a hex head. There's a hex head on the bottom of this radiator. It holds the bolt and keeps it from turning. Um, and those go into the frame of the tractor. And then they bolt up through the bottom. You know, a nut comes up and bolts it down. You got some rubber pads on here. The problem I've got here, I got the right side off. The left side is not coming off and the whole bolt is starting to turn. So, I think what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess that up. I'm gonna, I don't wanna strip that out, you know, cause it, it's starting to turn in the bottom of the radiator. And once it turns, that's it. You know, you've, you've lost it. So, um, I think what I'm gonna do is see if I can possibly do the water pump without pulling the radiator. See if I've got enough room to get in there and do it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get these radiator hoses out of the way. That might give us a little room to pivot the radiator back. Um, Yeah, I, I just don't want to round that off in the radiator. It gives us a little bit of pivot room. Let's find a bigger screwdriver. I think I can get enough torque with this one. Nope. The ADN radiator mounts the same way. But I had no trouble getting them off on it. This one, yeah. Once you round that off, you know, there's there's no going back from that. I mean, you're gonna end up having to cut the bolt. So if I can work around it, that's definitely the easy route. Um, Slice this hose off. Get it off.
It looks like we've got quite a bit of room in here. I uh, don't know if the radiator's going to have to come off anyway, so. It would have just given us a, you know, I could easily get in here with the air ratchet and uh, get all the bolts out. So we just got a little bit closer working area now. No idea if this bottom clamp's gonna come off without breaking. Loosen it up. All right, I think we'll put y'all back on the time lapse. We'll continue on. here and I'll show y'all where we are so this water pump it's in two pieces but it doesn't look like you can get just one of the pieces out um, it comes off together so you got the front half and the back half the new one is only the front half so hopefully it came with a gasket for this back half if not we'll have to make one but yeah, I mean, you got to take all these bolts out. There's no bolt, there's no single bolt that just holds this. Um, it holds it all together. And so you can't just take, you know, the front half out. So let's uh, back these out a little bit. I was able to get my little air ratchet in there. Let's go see what we got for a gasket. I'd almost bet it didn't come with both. Oh, oh, it did! Look at that. It's a good, good water pump. You have both gaskets. So, we have to clean this back part up. The thing doesn't look too bad on the inside. But we'll clean this up, get all the gasket material off of it. And you know, get all this junk off of it. Throw it in the parts washer. And uh, see if I can get it cleaned up. And while we're doing that, maybe I'll throw a coat of paint on the front half. And then we're going to have to clean that mess up. One thing to note here, this thing, the vent for the PCB just runs out the bottom of the motor right there. And it did have a thermostat in it. I did not think it had one in it. I got one for it, but I didn't think it had one. And to get the water pump out, since I got the one side off, I was able to kind of pick it up and pick it up out of that bolt hole. There was enough slop in that uh, rubber grommet on the other side and pivot the radiator over, give us some room. So I'm gonna start doing some cleaning. We're gonna get all this front of this motor engine cleaned off and get it ready for 
the new water pump. raining on me so I blew this off it just had a few drips on it and blew it off and brought it in here to paint it um, I am NOT going for any kind of reward award um, for the paint job on this thing this is a rattle can Ford blue paint job uh, the only reason I'm doing it is just to keep it from rusting anymore. And so uh, I'm not even painting the inside of it, just the outside. I've got the sheet metal on this thing is beat. I uh, bent it back. I don't know if you can see in the time lamps, time lapse. I bent this piece back mostly straight. Um, and it's got the hole in it for the top exhaust. And the exhaust on this one's going out the bottom. The only prep I did for this was to um, I pressure washed it a while back and then any spots that looked like they had oil or anything on them I hit them with some brake cleaner and then blew the brake cleaner off uh, carb cleaner just to uh, take the oil off of it and I did tape up the little uh, handles for the latch but it's beat up it's dented up it's got the hole in it it's rusty it's not worth putting a lot of body work into this thing to make it look nice. We are just trying to keep it from rusting completely out. The same goes for the front. We'll walk out there. Hopefully it dried enough before it started raining that the paint's not going to get ruined. It looks like it may be okay. Um, I beat this back out so I could try to get a grill in it. Just beat it back out straight, as straight as I could get it. You can see how rotten this thing is. It is not worth much effort. So I did not put much effort into it. Just a quick coat of paint. And hopefully that will uh, give us a little more life out of it. I've got the tractor covered up with the tarp since it is raining. We've got the water pump all cleaned up, the fan cleaned up. All this stuff is cleaned up and painted. And hopefully it won't rain on us tomorrow and we can get this stuff put back together. So, that's going to be it. Uh, I'll continue this on tomorrow.